The ground, Cruden, Israel Dyke knocks it forward and there's a break there and there's an opportunity there, does he have the pace? It is a long way to go, he's bursting along, but Rob Carney could do it, Kieran Reid's giving it up, Carney! Try number three, would you believe it? What an effort from Rob Carney! Crowd have gone absolutely ballistic here, and uh, all of that again. The line speed of Ireland in defence so much superior to what we saw last week. The hit from Sean O'Brien was hugely important. Uh, you just see it here. Cruden gets in behind originally, but the hit had come in earlier from O'Brien. It was a straight race for the line. Uh, Kieran Reid, the only one who could have caught Rob Carney off. It was never going to happen. But uh, this is uh, unbelievable out of Ireland. Wonderful try, wonderful moment for Rob Carney. He never even had a look to see what was coming. He gave it the full dash with the ears pinned back for try number eight for his country. Well, I seem to remember, I think, uh, Warren Gatlin's last game as Ireland coach. Ireland went into a 21-7 lead. And uh, that was in the days of Jonah Lomo. They fell apart in the second half. Lomo came back and destroyed Ireland. Uh, Gatlin lost his job after it. 27, uh, uh, 21-7 up. Never have Ireland been 21 points to nil ahead of New Zealand. Well, that'll have you on the edge of your couch. 18 and a half minutes gone. 19 points for Ireland. Right and not to be, but 19 points after 19 minutes. It's a pinch yourself territory. Well, it was a bit premature in giving the Johnny Sexton the conversion, but again, it's the pressure. Dave Carney closing the space early on Israel Dag. After that, it became a straight race between Reed and Carney. Uh, all he wanted was the line. Uh, Reed was never going to close him down, but uh, Paul O'Connell said during the week they failed.